Hey guys, so never one to leave anything alone. Um, when I was putting in my electric wipers uh, the other day, I knocked a wire off of the uh, transistor uh, that I was using, uh, one of these. So it's a 7805 So for my instrument cluster gauges um, because the old mechanical instrument cluster uh, voltage regulator on my car was dead. So instead of going back to one of those old stupid ones that don't work right anyways, I went to a FET. Uh, the problem with the FET is that um, it puts out five volts and that's it, and every car is a little bit different, so five volts may not always be the right amount of voltage to put out for the gauges for every car. So consequently, all of my gauges uh, read a little high, uh, except for the fuel gauge, which read a little low, uh, just because that's the way that the gauge works on the fuel gauge. Uh, so. My temperature gauge always read three quarters when it was normal. My O gauge always read three quarters when it was normal. My fuel gauge was always about a quarter lower than what was in the tank. So we went ahead a fuel tank and only showed, or a full tank and only showed, showed the three quarters of a tank. So while I was rooting around for another one of these, because like I said, I broke one of the pins off when I was hooking up my wipers, I, it dawned on me that I picked up some of these uh, buck converters. So it's similar to a FET, um, but they generate less heat, so you don't have to put a heat sink on them. Um, they use less power, uh, but best of all, they're adjustable. Uh, and But they're exactly the same, almost size-wise. Like they're the same, like physically they're the same size. They're the same, oh, uh, well, my flashlight just died. They're the same size, the pin outs are the same, the pins are even the same spacing, right? So they're like these buck converters, are basically, you know, the 21st century version of these FETs, which are, you know, kind of invented in like the 60s and 70s. So uh, anyways, so what I'm able to do is these are adjustable. It's got a little tiny adjuster screw on there. It's hard to see now that my flashlight's dead. Uh, so what I've done, uh, I've turned my voltage uh, down. So right now I'm running my voltage. You can see on my meter there uh, at about four volts. And with four volts, so my car's still warming up, so my temperature gauge isn't quite center and my oil pressure is still a little higher than normal. Um, but I think that's actually got it really close to being actually true to what the gauges will be. Uh, so I'm gonna keep letting the car run up the temperature. Uh, I'm getting pretty close. You can see on my FITAC, I'm at about 174, 176 degrees right now. So we're getting close, uh, but I'm just letting it heat up and then I'll adjust the voltage to put the temperature in the center, uh, and then that will probably give me a much more realistic representation of uh, what my gauges should be. So there you go. I'll post a link to these buck converters in the post. They're like a dollar, a dollar fifty or something like that from eBay. So I just bought a whole bunch of them just to have. So they're pretty slick. So and then I'll just uh, shrink wrap this and then tuck it up and then. Hopefully you never have to think about it again until, you know, I break a pin off rooting around behind the dash. So, happy Saturday. Cheers.